I've done a few videos now where I incorporate fats into the cocktails, like butter or even peanut butter, uh, sometimes even bacon, and these are often delicious. But what about olive oil? Extra virgin olive oil has such a wonderful nutty and fruity taste that it would be a shame not to be able to incorporate it into drinks, but it can be a little more complicated than the other ones. Well, we know oil's not gonna directly mix in with the cocktail, but through the help of an egg white, we can emulsify it and create a semi-stable mixture. So I'm gonna make a slight variation on a cocktail called the Olivetto from Minneapolis bar, Marvel Bar. This is a sour cocktail, so we're gonna start with a shaker glass and add 3 fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lemon juice. Then we'll sweeten that up a bit with half an ounce or 15 mils of simple syrup. 2 ounces or 60 mils of a dry gin. Here I'm using Bummer and Lazarus, one of my favorites. Then grab a nice bottle of extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna add in one half ounce or 15 mils. And not surprisingly, it will just separate and float on top. And the recipe calls for a touch of liqueur 43, which is a Spanish liqueur that has heavy vanilla notes, but you could swap for another of your favorite liqueurs in a pinch here. Quarter ounce or about seven mils. Then we need the egg white of one large egg. Doesn't that look tasty? To help the emulsion, we're going to do a dry shake, meaning without ice, for about 20 seconds or so. Shake it pretty vigorously and it'll foam up nicely. Then of course we need to chill and dilute the drink, so add about three or four cubes of ice and shake vigorously for another 15 seconds or so. Grab a chilled rocks glass with a couple ice cubes in it and we're going to double strain the drink into the glass. Let's give this a taste, our Olivetto cocktail, and right away the texture looks really interesting, very thick with a nice head of foam on top. My first reaction, this is a really lovely drink. The olive oil flavor is really wonderful here, and it actually has the texture of a flip, which uses a whole egg. I'm guessing you can take any flip recipe and swap out the whole egg for just the egg white and a bit of olive oil like this, and it would work really well. Okay, but can we actually do an olive oil infusion into a spirit like gin using the technique fat washing, which is a way to infuse spirits with flavor from fats? It works on the principle of polarity. Fat will dissolve in ethanol and not in water. So let's start with half a bottle or about 375 mils of dry gin. We're gonna pour that into a wide glass Tupperware container like this, which will increase the surface area between the oil and the gin. And for a relatively mild tasting oil like olive oil, I'm gonna use Dave Arnold's spec here and add 120 grams or about four fluid ounces. Make sure it's extra virgin olive oil and we're just gonna pour that into the gin. Give that a violent shake for about 10 seconds or so, let it rest, and then we're gonna shake it again. Now with animal fats like bacon fat, you would then just throw it in the freezer, let the fat freeze solid, and then just filter out the infused liquid but the olive oil is not gonna freeze, it'll just float to the top. So we're gonna use this gravy separator to let the infused gin drain out of the bottom without getting a lot of the olive oil in. So pour in your olive oil and gin and let it sit for about an hour or so, and then you'll see an opaque looking infused gin at the bottom and the olive oil floating on top. Okay, I have never used one of these before, but here we go, pressing the button and Okay, it's coming out the bottom. I think the goal here is to make sure none of the olive oil comes out as well. That's kind of the whole point. Gotta time this pretty carefully here. And in the end, we'll lose a little bit in the process. I'll get about 300 mils of our olive oil washed gin. And we're gonna use that to make, of course, a gin martini, starting with two ounces or 60 mils. And then for the vermouth, I'm gonna use a blanc vermouth, which is a little bit sweeter than a dry vermouth and I think will pair well with the olive oil flavor. So we're gonna use about three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. And this is optional, but to amp up the olive flavor, I'm gonna use these olive oil bitters from Bitter Truth. Just about two dashes worth there. And then we're gonna stir that with ice for about 40, 45 seconds to chill and dilute it. You want that nice and cold. And then we're gonna strain that into a chilled coupe glass. And because thyme pairs really well with olive oil, we're gonna garnish this with a sprig of lemon thyme. Just smack it to release some of the aromas and throw that on top. Let's give it a taste, our olive oil martini. And wow, this is a really nice cocktail. The olive oil really shines, but it's not oily or anything. It doesn't coat the lips. It pairs so well with that thyme and just a hint of sweetness from the vermouth. 
If you wanted to dirty this up a bit by throwing in some olive oil brine, I also think that would be excellent and balance out the vermouth even better. But y'all should definitely give this a try and let me know if there's any other great cocktails you come up with using olive oil infused spirits. And a big thank you to Brightland for sponsoring this video and supplying the delicious olive oils I use to make these cocktails. I really liked their Alive oil for this. They made wonderful cocktails. It's sort of robust and grassy, and it's also perfect for my favorite way to consume olive oil, bread. So a little bit of the oil, a little bit of salt, and some nice fresh bread is all I need. And this is premium quality stuff. It's perfect for gifting, whether you're bringing to a housewarming or a thank you gift. And again, this Alive varietal is just wonderful. And you really should use high quality premium olive oil for these drinks rather than grocery store oil. So you can really taste that fruity, grassy flavor and not just the oil. And I also love that all of the ingredients Brightland uses are all natural and locally sourced from independent farmers. Whether for drinks or for food, you should try Brightland now. You can get 10% off when you click the link in my description box and order your first duo set. Thanks again to Brightland for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching. If you wanna see more fat washed cocktails, I'll put one using peanut butter, brown butter, and bacon fat up on screen. Cheers.